Good evening, everyone. My name is Etask, it's Good Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 episode. So, before I get started, I do want to say I'm going to be experimenting and playing and just having fun today because um, I don't have any plans. I um, sold my house today. <laughs> yes, we signed. And um, if you guys didn't know, we were selling our house. We actually put it on the market yesterday at... No, well, for you, it would have been two days ago. But we put it on the market yesterday at 11 p.m. And it sold by 5... Uh, no, 11 a.m. And it sold by 5 p.m. the next day. And for over our asking price. That's... Dude, that is awesome. That's amazing, and I'm I'm really happy with the the person that we we signed with and and everything else. Like uh, they they were really needing it. And anyhow, long story short, we sold and we got a house and we're getting ready. Like it's it's happening. So um, today I, I was going to start playing and, and doing this on my other base, but I realized my other base doesn't have any balls. Like I've I've got nothing to uh, to do the little experiments with, but. I wanted to try and find a way to lift the ball, to take the ball and get it up higher. So, um, something that came across my mind was the the hatches. We could we could use a hatch of some kind, uh, maybe a couple of hatches and maybe like a a little system like this. Here, move this, and we'll put this over here, like this, and then like maybe the ball could be on it like this right and then we'd click the button and it would lift somehow but then I realized this doesn't register unless it's moving and then it'll lift so you would you would have to catch it while it's moving otherwise if it's stationary and it stops it just goes right there and that's that's kind of pointless I mean that doesn't that doesn't help us at all right but what if and this is big what if what if you were to take and put this on an inclined plane of some kind? So like, <clears throat> it was perpetually moving downwards. So if you had like a, a plane like this, whoa, rotate like that. Well, maybe, maybe even, will that work? That might even work. Cause I mean, it's, it's just lengthy enough. Boink. So if this was like this, right? Technically it's still moving. Even though it's not really moving, hold on. Technically, it's not moving, but it is moving. Well, that doesn't that doesn't work either, does it? Well, dang it. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Uh, what about a door? Let's destroy this. What about a door? Can we can we move it with a door? Come here, door. Let's go rotate, turn, placed. Good, and we still got a little bit more wood over here that we can use. Drop that in, boink. Okay, and drop. So if that's not moving, don't move. Oh, oh, there we go, okay. So we can do it with doors. As long as it's uh, stationary, boom. Uh-oh, nope, that didn't work. Hmm, okay, 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 idea, idea. What if, what if we have two wedges and they're going in opposite directions? So rotate, turn, turn, rotate, turn. And then a little rotate here, like that. What if, what if this one's going, come on, move it. Move it. I like to move it, move it. One's going this way. And we do rotate, rotate, and the other one's going this way. Oh, come on, come on, come on, get on there. Like that. Boom. And then we have to fill those in as well. So, oh, 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 dropped it, dropped it. That's okay. So what if we had uh, two like that, right? And then we have this in the middle, kind of like that. Wait until it stops moving. Stops moving. And now, if we hit it. Oh, there we go. So, what we'll need, just make sure, make sure. You stopped moving, right? Yes. Okay. Click the button again. Yes. That will. Okay. 
<laughs> the physics kind of messed up on that. But that should work. Now, we're, we're going to have to do it slowly, probably. Um, can we get a larger response to the block? Oh, what if we use fat doors? Come here. Uh, oh, I don't have any fat doors. What? Okay. Let's let's hit uh, let's let's go let's go buy some fat doors. Burr, 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 burr. And that's not being insulting. That's the name of them, the fat door. Turn on some lights. Whoa. Okay, come on. What is going on here? This wait, this isn't. That's not a truck. I, I need a truck. You know what? I got trucks over here. We'll we'll go take our pink truck. Boop, 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 boop. This is just a car, so I'm gonna get this out of the way. Blink. I mean, it's it's still a utility vehicle. It's still nice to have, but it's not what we were looking for. By the way, if this is one of your first videos that you've ever seen of me, please don't think this is like the normal. Actually, no, this has become pretty much the norm. It's just me playing and having fun uh, and talking, you know. <sighs> I was explaining um, a few months ago. No, it was a few months. Uh, it might have been a couple of weeks ago that uh, there's this weird excitement slash scaredness to moving, to newness, to change. And it's, it's the same for kids as it is for adults. I mean, it's still, it's scary, but at the same time, it's really exciting. And it, that goes with any kind of change that you have in your life. I just happen to be more susceptible to it because of my ADHD and because of my, my, uh, um, routine. I have to be very much in routine and to get out of a routine or to get off, uh, off schedule, it really throws me off. It, it just, it makes me anxious and scared. And there's no reason to be. There really isn't. I mean, when it comes down to it, change is good. And I worry. I worry that, you know, stuff might not work out the way that we want it to once we get moved down. Uh, I shouldn't say moved down. Um, moved to our new location, you know. And it's a fear. It's a fear that something might not go right or that something might fall through. And that's okay. That is an okay fear to have. That's what makes it makes us cautious and makes us make good decisions, you know? Thorough decisions about what we're doing in our life. But the thing is, a lot of people think you have to have this drama on YouTube, that you have to have some kind of version of conflict in order to have a good YouTube video, in order to have a good content of some kind. And that's just not true, you know? Speaking about emotions and speaking about daily life, that has more than enough conflict. Like, um, some, some of my viewers right now, you might be scared to go get a haircut because you might not have gotten that many haircuts in your lifetime, you know? And that is perfectly okay. It is a legitimate reason. It's a it's a perfectly normal reason to be scared to go get your haircut, you know? Or to be excited about something like you just learned to tie your shoes. Or maybe you don't know how to tie your shoes and you have anxiety about worrying if people are going to make fun of you because you don't know how to tie your shoes. And you shouldn't. You shouldn't worry. If you don't know how to tie your shoes, that is perfectly okay. You may learn it later on, or you might find an alternative. Maybe maybe you buy shoes that don't have laces. You know, it's perfectly acceptable to, to have um, to have Velcro or to have, do, do people use Velcro anymore? I don't know. Uh, or to wear sandals, only wear sandals, you know? I was not very good at tying my shoes at an early age. <laughs> but you know what? I kept practicing and practicing and practicing and eventually I was able to tie my shoes. I know y'all just freaked out. You're like, no code, why did you open that? Well, it's cause I, I wanted to put it in there. So, um, what was I doing? There was something I was, oh, the fat doors. 
See, this is why I shouldn't talk about other things that completely get thrown off track. So let's go ahead and move these two out of the way. One, two. And we're gonna move the regular door over here. We might use it later, but I wanted to try out this fat door real quick. Come on, fat door. Boom. Rotate turn. Placed. Boom. A boom. Now, when this is open, how far up does it go? So I could essentially put a wall of some kind. Maybe here, rotate turn, whoa. Will that be too too high off the ground, I wonder? Hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to place it there, so. Let's go ahead and drop this down one more, and I should be able to place one on this side now. One there and one there. So, destroy that. Oh, that was loud. That was super loud. Well, this is gonna be the last of the uh, cherry wood experiments because that's the last of the cherry wood. We should, we should probably go stack that back up some, you know. It's been a while since I've been on this base. Um, let's move these back in place. And this one back in place. Rotate. Just like that. Now, if we take this, place it on here, let it settle, and we shut this. Ooh, it goes too fast, doesn't it? Oh yeah, that goes way too fast. What happens if we, what happens when we move it out to here? Does it still go up that fast? Ooh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let's sort of rotate the uh, turn like that. Rotate. Move, rotate, turn. Okay. Where'd the ball go? Hey, where's the ball? Um, excuse me, excuse me. Come back here, what are you doing? Okay, boom. Drop that down. Okay, if we drop you right here, close to the handle. Oh, okay. Um, that's right. That's right. Roll back. That's what I was wanting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Oh, that might just work. But we're also going to need. Something to put that back, aren't we? So, <clears throat> what if, what if, hear me out. Move this here, what? Nil, nil? I guess you can't start it right there, can you? Can't start it on a door? Okay, okay, so. Let's go get this plate over here. I was using this for a sawmill at one time. We'll move this. Mm, okay. Okay, turn. Move. Turn, turn. Okay. That should work. Move, start here, come out to here. And as long as the, the source is above it, that should, that should work. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. 
that was awesome. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that did not work. Okay, so it's it's very oh, come here. Come here. It's very exact. So at the very end. That'll work. That will work. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. What if we do this? Move these up a little bit. Oh, 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 idea. <laughs> okay, so um, wedge, where's a wedge? I need a wedgie. <laughs> nice, okay. We'll make this one gold. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Whoa, the Maniacs didn't hit that in one swoop? What in the world? Okay. So we have to have something constantly on up here. Right? Okay. I know that I used to use this for my my scoob, Scoobinator 3000. We're going to go ahead and move this. We need to do a rotate, rotate. Whoa. And maybe a turn, turn. Nope. Turn, turn. We'll leave that right there. Turn it on. Now, if this gets triggered. That did not trigger it. Did it? It did not trigger. Okay. Let's move this up. And let's see. Let's do let's do a rotate. Hold on. Uh, rotate turn, rotate, rotate, rotate like that. Maybe. Maybe if we have it like that. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay, here we go. Test number two. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay, this is this is kinda cool. We need a way of stopping the ball from moving all the way back here. So maybe if we place something like, hold on, how's this? We'll do a, a turn, rotate, rotate. We'll place this on top of, come here, right there. Okay, so that should stop it from going all the way back. Here we go. Oh, that didn't trigger the uh, the close. Why did why did you not close, sir? Hmm. Okay. Maybe we need to do this with a wire. Hold on. There we go. And let's go grab one of these wires right here. Did I did I move a wire already? Oh yeah, I did. I, I used it down there though. Okay. Up to here. Over to here. And down to here. Uh oh. Why is that? Maybe, maybe that'll work. Uh-oh. No. Move. Go 
up. Finished. There it goes. Okay. So hopefully, let's try this again. Boom. Up, up, up. Oh, it got off track. Why did why did it go off sideways? Boink. Oh. Mm, do we need sideways the like the same thing here? Hold on. Oh yeah, that did not fall correctly, did it? Hmm. I guess I need an inverter, don't I? Hold on. Do I have logic on this base? I can't remember if I bought a whole bunch of logic or not. We got some ovens. We got some of that stuff. Oh, yeah, by the way, hold on. Jack showed me this. He was talking about this thing being able to be planked. Now I want to see. Oh, this is a this is a glitch glitch sawmill, so we're not gonna use that one. Let's see. That's a glitch mill. Totally, totally forgot about this, but huge shout out, huge thank you to uh, Jack for finding this out. I think Bunny Films did a thing on it, but he did not figure out that you could actually move this and plank it. Come on, come on. Maybe we turn it this way. Oh, there it goes. And this right here is its own kind of wood. This is not like any other wood that's in the game. In fact, it's called sign wood. Did you guys know that? Did you know it was possible? I wonder, can we build with sign wood? Hold on. I'm going to build this little plank right here. Bam. Sign wood. And I'm going to place this right up here as a sign. That means sold. <laughs> That is sold house sign. <laughs> In celebration of selling our house. There we go. What was I looking for? See, this is why this is why I should probably drink more coffee before getting on to lumber because I always come up with these great ideas that I'm like, oh, I'm gonna build this awesome skyscraper uh, ball launcher marble path thingy. And it just, mm. I don't know. That's that's the plan. That was the plan, but now I'm all distracted and stuff. So maybe, maybe not. Uh, inverter. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for some kind of inverter, and I don't have any logic on this base. Do um, you know what base has a lot of logic on it? The one by Samper Life. It's got it's got a lot of logic. So I think it's all food donations. Oh yeah, that was the move for hunger. By the way, those guys are still still around. If you guys want to go make a donation to the move for hunger, do it. They could always use donations, man. Always. And hmm. You know what? I don't think I've got any logic on this entire base. That is crazy. Well, shoot. Um, my thought was, what if I had an inverter down here, and whenever this got turned green or turned blue, it'd go up and it would invert this, just switching it ever so slightly. 
so that it would turn off and then back on, you know? That was the idea behind it, but I guess that's not going to happen. Whoa, hold on a second. Why is it working every once in a while, but not constantly? Uh-oh. 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 Oh, sure, now it's working. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. <laughs> I work. I work now. I'm working. <laughs> no. All right. Oh, oh, come here. Come here. Straight drop. Let go. See, I think it's I think it's hitting. That could be what's going on. Maybe with some logic, it would work properly. Hold on, let's do this. Oh, 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 come here, come here. Okay. So I think this is a bad idea. We should probably Hold on. I could I could glitch build two of these into the sides. You know what? No, that's that's too complicated. I'm getting too far ahead of myself thinking about these these different ideas and logic. Uh, the best thing to do would be to create another one of these sideways up here. So move this down here like that. Move uh, one of these. Where's the doors? Where's the doors? There it is. Nice. Fat door. Rotate turn. Rotate. Another one of these right here. Maybe a little bit closer. I don't want to build, I want to move. There we go. Um, come on. Why are you not... There we go. Just like that. Now we should be able to choppy chop. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh no, I'm not going to be able to push that button. <laughs> oh no, I messed it up. It's because my avatar was below. So um, the doors open in correspondence to where the human root part of your avatar is. And since my human root part was below the handle and I clicked it, it opened downward or towards my, my avatar. Dang it. All right, that's fine. We're we're at 28 minutes. We've had we've had some fun, some good laughs, some experimentation for the day, and you know what? It's still it's still up in the air. There's tons of stuff that you can do inside here, and I would love to see your mechanics. Have you come up with a staircase like this? Can you create something with some of the links logic and and cause it to lift up? Show me. I want to see it. Don't forget that um, this Saturday live we are going to have a uh, a giveaway of um, five subscribers, they will get their choice of something on my merchandise. So any anything from the merch store. You can pick the most expensive thing or you can pick the most cheap thing. Your choice, five winners, you gotta be a subscriber. It's going to be during the live stream and we'll pick them out. We'll have a, a, an awesome, make sure you're there. Um, it's gonna be Saturday at 1 p.m. Central Time. So if you're on East Coast, it's going to be 3 p.m. If you're on West Coast, it's going to be 1, 12, 11, 11 p.m. or 11 a.m. So make sure it's it's going to be noonish time during the live stream of the Roblox live. Um, it's going to be for subscribers only. So if you're not subscribed, notifications turn on, you won't get the chance to, to take it. But I will definitely do the, uh, and, oh, and you gotta make sure that your subscriber views, like, 
who who you subscribe to is turned on. If it's not, I can't verify it and you won't get the prize. I will pick somebody else. But make sure that you're uh, on the live stream, make sure that you're subscribed, and I will do a giveaway for my merchandise of awesomeness and you can choose whatever you like and I will have it shipped to me and then I will sign it and then I'll ship it out to you. So, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Taskin's Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. I love you guys for that. You're awesome, you're unique, and you are special. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.